Welcome my beautiful Taurus. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of July the 12th to the 18th, 2021. Keep in mind that not every single card or the energy they may carry may resonate with every one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does resonate with. All the cards I'm using for this week's forecast are posted below in the information box and the information on what I charge for my private readings, how to contact me on my website and my email. Okay, let's get started, my beautiful Taurus, my beautiful bulls. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, what does Taurus need to see? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to expect? Past, present, and future, please, Spirit. Okay. Let's see what we have here, Taurus. Coming in behind you, you have the Six of Cups. You have the King of Swords, and you have the Two of Swords, and in your crowning position, you have the Judgment card. You have the Nine of Wands, <clears throat> boy, they're flying out. You have the Strength card, and you have the Death card. Two more cards, please, Spirit, thank you. And there's your two. Look at this. <laughs> oh, you've got the Six of Wands and you have the Queen of Swords. All right. Let's see what we have here for this week for you. Unbelievable. Your all over energy card you got is the Five of Swords. So do we have the Five of Swords here? No, we have the Six of Swords, which is better. Okay, so this is all about being careful that you don't make an unwise choice, okay? This is like a no-win situation that you could get caught up in this week. Don't allow yourself to be goaded into a debate or an argument that maybe isn't going to serve your purpose or you could lose it, okay? Or if you do win it, you're going to come away feeling like you had been defeated anyway. So with this type of a situation, this type of energy coming in that you could get involved in, if you allow yourself um, you know could could make you feel as though you've been defeated and it's a no-win situation okay there could be somebody goading you wanting to uh, lure you into an argument or a situation that isn't coming from a place of integrity okay so don't set yourself up for any no-win situations this week coming in with your romance and relationship card you've got engagement Look at that. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this is about partnerships, right? This is about commitments. This is about saying, yes, let's do this. Let's make this a permanent situation. For those in a relationship that is a romantic relationship, you could be receiving um, a proposal of marriage or maybe your significant other is going to say hey let's finally take this to the next level and move in together get a house together get an apartment together whatever the case is but i do think that you know if you're in a in a an intimate relationship you're going to see it go to the next level for others you could be committing yourself to a partnership with something uh, you know, in something with somebody, uh, you know, getting together saying, okay, I'll sign on the dotted line in business perhaps. And, you know, you're going to, and once you do that, that is a long-term commitment. So make sure you weigh your options and your decisions carefully. Um, this is a beautiful card that says some of you are going to be finding happiness and permanence and stability and security in a loving relationship. Others, I'm seeing it as a business commitment as well. What do you need to surrender to? Do you need to surrender to denial? Okay, so accept people and situations exactly as they are. Without denying the difficulties, then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So, you know, sometimes we get caught up in relationships 
Um, and we can't see the forest for the trees, right? Or um, love is blind. Um, don't allow yourself to get caught in, into denial that something, if something's amiss or something isn't right, um, don't allow yourself to overlook that, okay? You have to accept things at face value, okay? Exactly as they are. So keep your eyes open. Keep your, uh, keep your wits about you. Um, keep your head about you, okay? This week, don't allow yourself to get caught up in any, you know, rich, quick schemes. Don't allow yourself to get taken down that garden path, as they say. Uh, and just keep your wits about you, okay? Coming in with your last energy card, you've been given the man with you, <clears throat> and he's dressed like this, and I always read this intuitively, he's dressed like this because he's an open book. You can ask him anything you want, the female partner of his, his power, his power, they're a power couple, she's the same way, but he's a masculine energy, he's very strong, he's very protective, uh, he doesn't sugarcoat anything, and you can lean into him for protection, and he'll give you exactly what you're asking for when you ask him a question about something, he's going to be open about it. So whoever this guy is, um, he he could be um, someone around you in your circle of friends or family or chosen family could be someone you work with uh, but he's definitely there watching out for you and he he's going to take care of you I think that you're in a good place with this energy of this of this male uh, you know the man that shows up here he could also sort of be like a mediator he's very fair I think he he would probably come in the middle of any argument or any um, you know, any, uh, you know, oppression coming in, uh, at this time. I think he'll, he just, they just showed me he's like, he's, he's in the middle. He's in the middle of the road to keep peace for you and whoever else you could come in contact with or conflict with. And you can trust him. He's very, very honest. Okay, coming in towards you in your tarot reading, you have the Six of Cups, you have the King of Swords, and you have the Two of Swords. So I think that some of you could be dealing with a situation here that, uh, you know, you could be dealing with somebody at a distance, somebody who has been distant from you. Uh, you could be dealing with a water sign, some of you perhaps, and it could be a legal action. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign, but I think you're going to be stepping up and taking the advice from somebody. Again, I'm going to go back to mediator. I think some of you might be hiring a lawyer or you may have a mediator or the crown or somebody coming in to help you with a legal issue. I think you could be at a crossroads or you could be at a, sta a stalemate. You could have locked horns with somebody uh, and again it could be a legal situation where there's a decision that has to be made and neither one of you wants to budge it's you know we've all seen those domestic arguments in court where no I want the tea towel no I want the television and so on where I think you're going to have to compromise here whatever the situation that you are advocating promoting and defending yourself for uh, I want you to realize that there's going to be some compromise brought in, a leveling of the playing field here, where it's better to get compromise and to walk away as a loser and not get anything. So I think you should, you need to keep an open mind here if you're dealing with any uh, opposition that's coming in uh, right now, any conflicts that are coming in right now. I think you're going to have to think of compromise. Don't do you know? Don't dig your heels in because you could bite your nose off despite your face, as they say, and end up walking away with nothing. So I want you to be careful there there could be mediator might have to come in here to um, explain to you and whoever else is involved in this situation exactly what's on the line here so I think you're going to get that but I think you know here with the six of cups this could be dealing with somebody or feeling nostalgic about the past uh, you could be uh, dealing with somebody uh, from your past coming in could be a colleague a friend a soulmate um, you know somebody like that a lot of people jump to conclusions and say I don't want my ex back it doesn't necessarily have to be an ex um, I think that you know you could be dealing internationally some of you with people overseas and other countries or you could be <clears throat> you could be dealing with somebody who's returning from their past okay you're gonna reconnect I think others I think you're going to be uh, communicating creatively or entertaining children and for others, I think it's going to be a time for you to tap into that. Um, you know, they're telling me you haven't had a good laugh, you haven't had much fun lately, and it's time for you to realize that life needs to be lived, and you need to let go of any of that, any of the, any of the regrets or any of the um, 
oh, what are they telling me here? Uh, any Anything that has left you feeling uh, defeated here, okay? Let it go because I think you're going to come out ahead, but it's going to involve compromise in a situation, okay, when you're dealing with somebody else. Coming in in your center position here, you have the Nine of Wands, you have the Judgment card, and you have the Strength card. So definitely there's going to be some challenges and struggles here this week for you, Taurus. I'm sorry. Um, I know you're the bull, but I don't want you to draw the line and put your head down and go charging or else, <clears throat> or be stubborn. I want you to be open-minded this week. I want you to realize that <clears throat> you want a, a fair level playing field here when you're dealing with any opposition or challenges. I think you need to stand up for yourself and not roll over and give up. I want you to realize how resilient you truly are. And there could be somebody who wants to keep poking you, wanting you to roll over, wanting you to give up, wanting you to give in. Don't do it, okay? Protect what you've created and you deserve to get what you justifiably deserve. So don't give up. I think a judgment call here is going to be made and you're going to be walking in a new direction. The judgment card says rebirth and it's like you've got a new chance at a second chance at whatever it is you want in life. <clears throat> excuse me and also the fact that you know when you when you move on here it's like liberation it's like freedom it's like oh finally now I'm free to do what I want and I think you're going to see that energy coming in that is your crowning energy here strength maintain your stability and your balance don't give up but also realize that it's not worth going in and making any rash decisions in anger I want you to go in you know a little more understanding step back look at the whole picture be a little more compassionate and understanding and maybe even you know maybe even there's forgiveness in the equation here and I tell people this if you forgive it's not the fact that you condone the behavior of the other person but you have to forgive for so you don't carry that you don't carry that within you you can go forward now free and clear and cleansed so I think you know you if you're communicating with others take a deep breath you know like I say you can catch more flies with honey than you ever will with vinegar and you'll win them over that way now coming in towards you, you have the Death card, you have the Six of Wands, and you have the Queen of Swords. Great energy, my beautiful Taurus. So for all the challenges that I do see here presenting themselves on your path this week, I think you're going to be moving and if, moving on in a new direction. You know, the door is going to close, things end, and there's going to be beautiful new beginnings. But with the Death card, the universe and the Divine are saying, embrace this brand new beginning, this clean sheet, a brand new page in your book that you're going to be you know being able to write out a new future uh, for yourself so the death card is the end of something <clears throat> but it's also embracing a new beginning for you a freedom a beautiful liberating freedom underneath that you've got a great card and that's victory after hard work and struggle the six of wands and it talks about the hard fight that you've made the work that you put into something your t your blood sweat and tears and the effort you've invested and getting the rewards for that. It's almost as though something's going to happen here and everybody around you is going to say, add a boy, add a girl. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Okay. So I think you're going to be able to see something great coming in here, regardless of the struggles and challenges you're dealing with, you're going to still come out the winner. You've got the Queen of Swords and that is going out on your own and it's very appropriate, this card that shows up at the end because she is a single solo individual. This queen is either a widow or she's a single woman and she's strong and she goes out on this next step of her journey by herself completely in her confidence and in her independence she gets rid of and walks away from anything that doesn't serve her anymore she's come to that conclusion if it isn't going to help her grow expand and succeed in a progressive direction it's not going for the ride so i really do believe that this is what's happening for some of you you're going to be walking away from a situation or the energy of somebody towards a brand new bright future <clears throat> so don't get bent out of shape this is a good 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 card here i want you to just maintain your stability uh, i think you're going to find some uh you're going to find some stability in this and you're going to be able to move forward in a new direction okay let's see what we have here for our clarification card spirit what can you tell taurus what do they need to see know and expect for the future past tense past future past and <laughs> yeah okay here we go put this 
on the bottom past present and future okay coming in behind you with this six of cups you have the strength card again so you're getting this double meaning here <clears throat> this powerful message that you know, you may, you need to maintain balance, ground yourself before you jump into any conversations or communication. Uh, leave your ego at the door. Don't allow yourself to uh, feel any, any, you know, any anger towards or animosity towards someone because this is how you're going to win your way through, okay, with compassion and understanding. On top of this <clears throat> King of Swords, you have the Two of Pentacles. And I think you're going to be having to balance, balance either your workplace or your or your uh, your home life. Uh, but it's also two pentacles, which to me I always read intuitively that you're going to hear about two choices, two decisions, two options, and two offers. And I think it correlates to this uh, this sort of stalemate, this situation where two people have to make a choice here. Coming in with that card, you have the Ace of Cups, beautiful card uh, of compassion, understanding, love. I think that you know um, there could be for some of you this could be the end of one situation and you're walking into a brand new one and maybe some of you are leaving a relationship or a marriage or a partnership and you're you're connecting with another beautiful soul this could be the reason why you want out of this for some of you you've met someone else and you realize that you've had to cut out what no longer serves you and it wasn't working for you so I do think that you're going to be meeting somebody absolutely beautiful here that's going to come in and bring you uh, a wonderful wonderful emotional situation uh, of love and understanding I mean it's a beautiful card when they when this ace of cups shows up it means get ready to be happy okay it's about true friendship it's about soulmates it's about compassion and kindness and I think I some of you because we have the death card here you're moving on I think you're going to be buying a home or moving into a new location with somebody here okay but it is a new person I think you're tapping into your higher self as well right now with with your own psychic abilities coming in with your in your center position you have the nine of wands you have the five of wands okay again uh, don't get caught up in getting into uh, you know no win situations I think that you have felt that you've had to compete with somebody or somebody's been wanting to poke you to make you compete promote and defend yourself um, I think that the best way to resolve that because they want you to give up here with the nine of wands don't do that um, you know what it's easy the easiest way to resolve this is just put your hand up and say you know I'm out of here uh, I'm not I'm not fighting simple as that and the judgment card you've got temperance so it's taking time um, you know but the universe is saying to you do things in moderation don't go out there and overspend uh, overindulge over obsess overthink over worry any of those things okay do, this is about you taking your time and thinking about and uh, where it is you want to go and what you want to do okay take your time don't go rushing into anything or making any rash decisions this week coming in with the strength card you have the knight of rods um, something could be coming in suddenly the knight of rods could be charging in here with some information for you uh, then you know it's all about action uh, with this particular night and I think you're going to see some action coming in um, it's about a, a situation that's going to require you to act on it quickly so if you hear about some information or somebody some you know something comes through a settlement comes through and your lawyer says to you okay they're going to give you this um, I think you're going to have to think about it and act on it very quickly but read between the lines to be sure um, it, something suddenly could be coming into you that's going to require your attention but it's going to be good news my friend coming in with the death card you have again look what you've got the six of rods victory after hard work and struggle so you win something you accomplish something you get recognition for something and you get rewarded for it coming in with the eight of wands on top of your second six of wands <clears throat> is getting busy okay get ready to buckle up get ready to know that the delays are over and you're going to get instant results and you're going to hear about uh, you could be getting results on tests and exams as well but this is telling me you're going to be busy uh, all the the delays that maybe you have been if you've had delays happening they're going to be over coming in on top of your queen of swords you have the king of rods uh, this is a, the card of focus okay he's a very focused uh, king and he only goes for you know he, he he's you know he his motto is go big or go home so he's not dealing with any of these little menial things anymore he's going for the big win and he's going for the big item so I think you're going to be stepping up you have to maintain being focused here 
okay I want you to do that because he is the king of focus 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 okay and and when you do that go full stream ahead for what you want okay um, I think you're, you're going to become independent and I think you're you're in you actually are an innate uh, you know um, individual who is a who is a leader it's like you were born to be a leader all right maybe you're going to be the head of a business or you're going to be head of your own life now or you're going to be in charge of your own company uh you know or an organization but i think you're going to be going through s towards some sort of self-employment and your an entrepreneurial venture okay you also have this ability to step up and speak in front of a crowd you could be asked to promote or or to teach something or to be speak to be to speak in front of a group um, and you know what be courageous stand up for your convictions you have that ability to do that Taurus well my beautiful Taurus this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week to look forward to always be mindful what you throw out into the universe because the universe is not happening to you it's reacting to you and also the universe and the divine your higher power want you to succeed and want you to find your happiness and peace so surrender to it and move towards your goals and happiness blessings my beautiful souls and know that i always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you let's all continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and i'll see you soon